Uh, my name is Don Worley and it was a medical malpractice case. Back in 2001, I took a blood test that's supposed to detect the presence, possible presence of prostate cancer. And I went over the top on the test and my doctor never told me. And our usual practice is that I would go in for an exam, then go get the blood test and he'd call me in a week or two or what have you and tell me what the results were. And he never did that. Two years later, I was actually diagnosed with prostate cancer. And the problem with prostate cancer is that if it's caught early, it's curable. If it's not, it's not curable. And two years later, I was, it was already advanced and metastasized, and it was not curable. Bob took over and did the process that he had to go through of initially getting another medical doctor to take a look at, at whether or not there was a good faith malpractice case. So Bob and I sat down, we discussed the case and the val his valuation of the case and the advice that he gave me. I gave him a number that I felt if it were lower than that, that really wouldn't be acceptable to me. Uh, and then I told him a number that I would be jumping up and down ecstatic happy. And interestingly enough, the, uh, the net settlement to myself and my wife came in right exactly in the middle between those two numbers. And I was very, very happy. And I think it was because he had, he had prepared the case, he had set it up properly, and I think it's because he enjoys respect in the local bar among attorneys who are on the opposite side in these kinds of cases, that he was able to settle the thing rather, rather quickly. I would not hesitate for a moment in recommending Bob to someone else I consider him Dan's protege and followed in that tradition of being a very, very excellent medical malpractice lawyer.